Hello, well met friends! Andang here, very excited to be playing through some StarCraft 2. We are going to be playing through the Wings of Liberty campaign, and I am so excited to do this. This is the game that got me into YouTube. You might be saying, but wait, there aren't any StarCraft 2 videos on your channel right now. Well, it is the game that got me to start watching YouTube back with Husky StarCraft. I was looking for some StarCraft videos when I started playing this game. Found Husky StarCraft, absolutely loved his channel, he's what inspired me to get into YouTube. And so I figured, it's finally time, now that I've passed over a million views, to be starting a StarCraft 2 series and paying tribute to that. So let's go ahead and go to the campaign here, and let's actually get the story so far. For nearly 300 years, humans thought they were alone in the Caprulu sector. They were wrong. The Zerg emerged seeking to consume all in their path. And before long, the Protoss, a highly advanced alien race, began wiping out infested worlds, burning Zerg and Terran alike. A three-way war, unlike anything humanity had ever faced, erupted almost overnight. All the while, a human civil war raged. Marshal Jim Rayner vowed to oppose the corrupt dictator Arcturus Minsk for the betrayal of the woman he loved. Sarah Kerrigan. Ah, uh, boys. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Kerrigan, a loyal operative, was left to die at the hands of the Zerg. But the Zerg had other plans. They transformed her and unleashed her psionic power upon the Caprulu sector, searching for their real objective, the Protoss homeworld of Ayr. The Protoss were unaware of this danger and slow to respond. Their rulers, the Conclave, had dispatched Executor Artanis to hunt for Tassadar, a commander who had refused to wipe out infested Terran worlds. They crossed paths with a dark Templar mystic whose kind was considered heretics by the Conclave. Through great effort, Zeratul convinced Tassadar and Artanis that he was not their enemy. Together, they rallied more Protoss from both factions against the Zerg. Despite the Conclave's fury, they achieved significant victories against the Swarm. But when Zeratul struck down one of the Overmind Cerebrates, his own mind was left vulnerable. From his thoughts, the Overmind gleaned Ayr's true location, and the Swarm descended upon the Protoss homeworld with all their might and fury. It was Tassadar who kept the Templar from extinction that day. Using the power of both the Templar and the Dark Templar, he sacrificed himself to kill the Overmind. Ire was lost, but Artanis led the survivors to the Dark Templar's homeworld of Shakuras. Old prejudices were set aside. The Templar were now in the Dark Templar's debt. Without the Overmind, the Swarm fractured. Kerrigan sought control of all the Zerg, even enlisting the aid of old friends and enemies like Raynor, Manx, and Zeratul. Once her rule was uncontested, the Queen of Blades betrayed them all. Billions of humans and Protoss were killed. The Zerg stood unchallenged, but to the relief of all, the war seemed to end there. Zeratul suspected the Zerg had fallen under the control of Dark Forces. He uncovered prophecies stating that an ancient entity, Amon, was attempting to merge Protoss and Zerg lifeforms into an unholy hybrid, and that this evil might already have control of Kerrigan and her power. It was during this time that Executor Artanis, hailed as a hero, was made leader of both the Templar and the Dark Templar. As Hierarch, Artanis united both factions, and promised to one day reclaim the glory they had lost on Ire. But such unity is only a dream for Jim Raynor. Menx still rules, and Raynor's small rebellion has counted for nothing against the Dominion's propaganda machine. Perhaps it is time for a new strategy. So there you go, that's the story from the original StarCraft games. Now we're good to get into StarCraft 2. Basically, all you need to know is that Jim Raynor has his crazy Zerg girlfriend that he needs to get back. And this is basically the entire first act of the StarCraft trilogy is just getting her back, or at least trying to, and we'll find out if that takes place. 
So, anyway, let's go on into it. They say a man never really knows himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. This cinematic was so cool when it came out at first. This was the first teaser for the StarCraft 2 trailer. Such a cool shot. But Blizzard always does cinematics well. go. Uh, Blizzard is always so good with cinematics. Alright, here we go. StarCraft 2, Wings of Liberty. Instead of expanding our fleets, you've squandered trillions on hunting down has-been rebels like Jim Raynor. Jim Raynor represents a clear and present threat to this dominion. He is an unscrupulous, lawless revolutionary bent on spreading fear and dissension across the sector. He and his ragtag band of miscreants have instigated open rebellion across six separate worlds and stolen vast amounts of dominion weapons. very soon. It ain't over till it's over, you son of a bitch. Oh, 
Adjutant, are my troops ready yet? Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Well, it's about times being said. Everybody's ready to get things going and get back into gear. Backwater Station is the center of Dominion Logistics on Masara. Destroying Dominion Authority here will cripple Emperor Menk's operations throughout the planet. All right, let's get into it. Adjutant, what do you got for me? Dominion forces have set up a logistics headquarters in the town of Backwater Station. This has become the hub for all operations on Marsara. The Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city and they are now under strength. Are the locals cooperating? The people of Backwater Station are known to be anti-Dominion, but they lack weapons and organization. If I can take that headquarters away from Mengsk, it'll cripple him on this planet. Prep my ship. Alright, here we go. Alright, boys. Let's show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. That's right. What's the plan? Alright, plan Sounds is like to plan. just take care of all of Ming's forces. Commander. There are tutorial videos awaiting your review. Uh, we don't need no tutorials. You can count on me. This. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is covered. Let's move. Me. Time to man up. Don't go up that road. Raiders are. Well, I think we kind of have to. Time to man up. Alright, let's attack there. Rainer. Kill him! Sounds like a plan. Easy peasy. Raiders roll. Keep a close watch on your neighbors. Descent will only slow our progress. <laughs> okay, Commander, buddy. Destroying the Dominion holoboards will help incite rebellion against the Dominion. Well, I think they're already pretty good with Ming's lies on that billboard in the background, but George, we'll help incite it anyway. I'm getting mighty tired of seeing Ming's face. Blast it. Time to man up. Raiders roll. Raiders roll. Where is everyone? Kick ass. Yes, Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. You can ca My neighbors. My family. This is starting to look ugly. I love, I don't know if you could hear the ambient sound there, but those birds taking off sounded Sounds like, like a plan. gunshots almost. I love how they do all sorts of ambient Commander, stuff in Blizzard games. a large Dominion force is gathering in the Let's center attack. of town. Then it's time to call in that special delivery we talked about. Okay, we might have attacked a little too soon there, but there we go. You're saying sounds good, but I don't think you mean it, buddy. That's Rainer! Most wanted man in the Dominion! No, sir. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Alright. Remember, right, there's one back you in here. You can count on me. Kick ass! Your freedoms must be protected. <laughs> That's why we're fighting him. Alright, like let's move plan. closer and then... Right, there we go. This is bad. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. Finally, there's the locals. You'll all be given a meal when you reach the dig site. My brother went off to the mine last week. He disappeared. You tell him, buddy. There's no way you want to go there. We got a runner. They're shooting civilians. Move in. You know, Raiders civil order roll. here is pretty good. They got stop Sounds signs. Like Everything's good. Here. Top of it. Right. Give them some dance. Mengs has a lot to pay for. Thank you, Raider. We knew you wouldn't forget us. There's more people still being held up ahead. All right. I'll see to them. Fun Time fact, that was actually Morgan Webb that just voiced that uh, female line there. 
Raiders so you're in the game. Marshall Rayner. Been a while since we saw you around here. We're with you, Raiders. You can count All right, on me. Let's go. Raiders roll. This is a restricted area. You search and surround the rest. You guys do we got not need my man. help. Good grief. Time to man up. You guys are better outfitted than I am. Sounds like plan. Oh, they're shooting people back in there. That's crazy. Count on me. Kick ass. Charge it. Here we go. Alright. I didn't think we could fight them, but we can. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. Remember, Minx can only control you if you let him. All right, we got victory. Just three minutes there. Let's continue along. Put you on ice. Live sentence. What? To give you time off for good behavior? That's right, old buddy. I'm a model citizen now. <laughs> so to what do I owe the pleasure? Just a friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for them. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we... liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now. Can I, Tigus? Partners, then. 60 40. 70 30. My way. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times. <laughs> Let's watch the news. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from the UNN studios on Core Hall. We've got a breaking story for you. Let's go live to our own Kate Lockwell on the fringe world of Marsara. Kate? Thanks, Donnie. Rebel Jim Rayner has reappeared in a big way. He's attacked a Dominion Depot near Backwater Station, seizing weapons and distributing them to the local populace. Kate, I bet the locals are pretty nervous about having a notorious outlaw in their neighborhood. Actually, Donnie, the people I talked to seemed really encouraged thanks, by Kate. the... You heard it here first. Jim Rayner, terrorizing the locals on Marsara. When we return, are your kids using stim packs? Keep talking, pal. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Yeah, because stim packs sound totally safe for everybody. Oh my goodness. This looks recent. This you're doing, Jimmy? 
Folks in these parts are ready to fight back against Maxx. Guess they just needed a little push. You still take this whole revolution thing pretty serious, then? Everyone needs a hobby, Takis. <laughs> All right. Sarah. Sometimes... I think it would have been better if you just died that day. <laughs> you think? Yeah, because Queen of Blades is totally, you know, not worth it. Man, he's like the cleaningest boyfriend ever. Call right. me curious, but how'd you get out? Well, I busted out of my cryo freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water, made off with the warden's daughter. Don't you get up, buddy, with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. I ain't licked yet, Tychus. And I promise you, Minsk is going down, one way or another. All right. Well, I think this is a good place to stop. When we return, we will start the second mission here in StarCraft 2, but that's not until next time. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of StarCraft 2.